So in conclusion, it is definitively not the elites, or however you want to identify them, who suffer casualties. It's not the elites whose sons and daughters are dying in the many military expansionist operations. The elites do not have loved ones returning with horrifyingly traumatic injuries or severe and crippling PTSD or mental health issues. So I'm merely suggesting that rather than be so quick to allow ourselves to be manipulated into yet another two minutes of media-driven state-sponsored hate. Let's take in the larger picture. Try to understand the end game here. Whether white, black, Arab, Hispanic, Asian, or Pacific Islander, what have you. Let's maybe put aside racial differences and divisive religious politics, all too often commonly exploited by them and start caring about us. Let's look after one another. self-abasement. The sex instinct will be eradicated. We shall abolish the orgasm. There will be no loyalty except loyalty to the party. But always there will be the intoxication of power. Always at every moment there will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on an enemy who is helpless. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. The moral to be drawn from this dangerous nightmare situation is a simple one. Don't let it happen. It depends on you.